Hi, welcome along. I thought I'd do another quick little update on the Themo or the Themo. Uh, this is from an Estonian company. They're a startup. They've been making this for uh, a few years though, so they seem to have a bit of experience in doing this stuff. And I actually got a question a couple of weeks ago from Markus Urjala. And he'd seen my video earlier on the first look of the Themo and seen in a few other views, reviews online and decided to go and buy some. So I hope it's working out for you, Marcus. You wanted to know my thoughts on how I'm going with this. Well, I still have two in the box. Uh, this one I just took out a moment ago. The third one I bought in the three pack is actually installed. That one got very easily installed. It was very simple to set up, I have to say. It's quite clever the way you set it up. It kind of broadcasts itself as a Wi-Fi. You connect to it directly with your phone and then you can put in uh, another Wi-Fi in the house so we can then connect onto the internet and, and that was really easy. Uh, I have to say that I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I won't call this a comprehensive review. I do want to dig into more of the details of the, the Themo. But I said I was going to give you some uh, comments on what my thoughts are, so this is it. But I will actually reach out to the company and put a few questions to them. So I'll do a third Themo video which is more of a Q&A. So a couple of questions I have about this device related to this specific installation that I've got downstairs. So one of the questions is about, this is mounted on the wall outside of the bathroom where it's actually heating the floor. So when I start to look in the app, I'm wondering what temperature am I seeing? Am I seeing the ambient room temperature? Because there is a small uh, gauge in this unit but then or am I seeing the temperature from the sensor that is in the floor that's one question I also have a few questions about what do some of the settings and menus really mean when you're in the web application but I'll dig into that another time from a design point of view, I'm very happy. I did look at different thermostats and they show you a digital readout of what the current temperature is. And I looked at a few others that show you the weather outside and I actually came to the conclusion that I don't care about that. You know, with this, I can set a schedule and this little unit will manage the temperature according to that. And it also, of course, takes into account, if you wish, the electricity prices. Now for us, we're actually on a fixed tariff, but I am really interested to see if there is a difference in the electricity bill using this versus what we did have, which was just a very old school thermostat. You'd set it at say 21 or 22 degrees and the unit just stayed at 21 or 22 degrees. I do expect some cost saving with this because if you're able to set the temperature during the middle of the night to have it drop down to 13 or 15 degrees, then it's gonna use less power, I would think. However, what I have noticed is even though I have the schedule dipping up and down, there is uh, an indication in some of the, the data graphs that you can see what the floor temperature is and it's staying pretty stable. So, uh, I can see maybe by checking electricity bills from this year compared to same time last year to see if there's a drop. Uh, that's certainly what I'm hoping for, but I do need to investigate that a little bit more. All in all, happy with this, but as said, I am going to ask a few questions to the team from Themo, see what the answers are, and I'll share more details with you. But am I happy to recommend this right now? Yeah, I would. I would say, it's working as I had hoped. So that's it for now. Uh, hopefully, Marcos, that's somewhat satisfying for you. If you've got some questions you also wanna know about your Themo, send them on to me and I can also ask those from Themo. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.